how can your like, copy that generates a million of these bad boys? Now, I was looking for a $20 note, but I couldn't find a $20 note because I'm living in the UK these days, so you'll have to make do with the £20 note. But that's approximately, and probably conservatively, what we've estimated that my personal copywriting for myself, for my own products, for uh, my partners that I've worked with, and for my clients, uh, that my copywriting has generated roughly $20 million in sales since I've been online. And that's, that's not a bad number, is it? It's quite a respectable number in a not too long period of time. So how can we do this? Well, there's lots of theories, there's lots of practices, there's lots of recommendations um, that many people will give you, and that's really not what this, this video, this short video, is gonna be about. I do things differently from a lot of people, not because I want to, but because that's just kind of how I'm wired. So if you've tried the normal way, which is taking uh, a book like this, so full of successful sales letters and copying them out by hand again and again and again, if you've tried all that and it hasn't worked, then this is probably or could be the video for you because I'm going to just show you really what I think is a much quicker way and a much more meaningful and effective way of getting a job done. Again, you might be the person that should go out and get a book like this or go online and get uh, sales letters like this and maybe you should be copying them out by hand. But I've tried it and, well, I haven't even tried it to be honest. So like I say, I've generated millions, tens of millions and I've never actually really read a book on copywriting the closest i got was a year or two ago when i bought this great book nothing wrong with the book uh, an immensely popular and successful copywriter uh, no longer with us called uh, gary hablett and um yeah I tried to get through it and just couldn't just lost the will to live not because of the content but because it's just not how i learn i learn by doing so if you learn by doing this video is for you so Underneath this video or around this video, if you're watching on YouTube, you'll see a link to my free Facebook group. Within this Facebook group, one of my members, members, easy for me to say, uh, Daniel asked, where can I learn copywriting skills? And I'm kind of gonna answer that now, but the more important thing is how can I write copy that sells? Like approximately a million of these fellas. And my answer is a little bit different. I don't want you copying out sales letters by hand. For me, it doesn't work at least. So you could go along to somewhere like the Gary Halbert Copy Club, and I, by all means do, I'm a member of it. This is a Facebook group. You'll meet some wonderful copywriters, far more successful copywriters than myself, and you'll, you'll learn from that environment. And a lot of those people will say, copy out the sales letters. But what I suggest is going along to places like um, Facebook and um, looking at ads and clicking the ads and then going along to the landing page, often the sales page, and seeing if it all adds up. Like this is an ad for Rev. Rev is hugely successful if you... Um, haven't heard of it already, they do captions for videos. Very good service. And um, I was just scrolling through my timeline, saw this ad, and um, I, I just didn't think it was a very good ad, okay? Launched, customizable open captions. Uh, really? What, what does that even really mean? And then I went on, I clicked the ad, so there's the, the learn more link, clicked on that, went over to here and I found this pretty underwhelming headline. Now, this isn't me being critical of Rev. This is just my personal opinion that this copy here isn't very interesting and that this headline isn't very interesting. It may be making them a fortune, maybe making them millions, but how can we use this to become a better copywriter? There are a million opportunities for you to become a better, cop better copywriter. Step one, is just write a lot. The more you write, the better you'll get. Step two, possibly, is look at something like this and think, understand the product. Everything you do is gonna take time. Copying out these sales letters by hand is gonna take a really long amount of time. 
I think most people are going to zone out when they're doing that. Uh, maybe it works for them, maybe it won't, but I personally won't be doing that approach. Um, so I think much more meaningful is to look at an ad like this, go along to a, a landing page or a sales page like this, understand the product and then think, how would I have done it differently? What would I have written in this headline? Okay, what would I have written here? And sometimes you get, just by scrolling down, some really good information in the next line that really belongs in the headline. So it's just about immersing yourself in a sales page, in a landing page, in the ad world, and, um, and seeing what you would do differently. Now, I, um, I came along this ad and it, uh, I think I just lost the 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 ad that that landed this that took you to this page. But I, I went on Facebook ad, came to this landing page, and I just I didn't even know what this even meant. So you go along to sales pages, you go along to landing page, and you think, okay, how would I write this so it just makes sense? So it's simple. Simple will almost always win. Now here is. Gary Hablet. This is one of the letters that he wrote a long time ago. Don't know if we got the date on it. No, but a long time ago. I'm going with 20, 30 years or or more ago. And if you find stuff like this, content like this, and you can get this by going along to the GaryHalbertLetter.com, the main thing I think that you'll take away from pages like this, from successful letters like this, is they flow. Now, he might not start out in a way that's expected. Like in this one, he says, I used to drink a lot of beer. And this letter has got nothing to do with beer. It's an attention grabber. It's a pattern interrupt is what it's often called as well. But when you read through something like this, it flows. There are at no point during the whole of this letter do you ever get taken out of the flow and that is really what a good sales page does the problem with taking a page like this copying out by hand and trying to replicate it maybe using the same words maybe using the same sentences maybe using the same structure the problem with that is it probably doesn't really fit what you're trying to sell so if you can get into the mindset of that my copy just needs to flow and you read stuff like this with just one question does it flow when i get on to this page does it flow now that's such a dry page i don't think it flows at all it's all very dry information you get onto here dry information you read something like this which is you know for a different purpose but same principle it's selling something you never leave this text you keep reading because it's essentially a story that takes you on a journey and that's what for me good copy is and good copywriting is so if you want to go along and join and get those i've never joined it myself but it's the garyhalbertletter.com and you can click there to to sign up but i've got nothing to do with these guys um so it's not a pitch um the main thing is that your copy flows okay I am not the best copywriter on the planet, but I do come up with good ideas. I then turn those ideas into text that flows, a lot like this text flows, okay? That might start off in a slightly unusual way, but just always takes you on a journey that you never want to leave, that you never, where you never find yourself going, thinking about anything. The text just keeps you locked in to the story, to the to the narrative, if you like. Um, so, some classic angles. In fact, the most important angle, I'm trying to save you time here. If you only learn one angle, one headline, one, uh, one, one, yeah, headline is the best way of describing it, for your product, the thing to suck people in, to read your, your sales letter, your landing page, whatever it might be, it's how to do something without something else. So how to increase your sales without buying more ads? Can you increase your profits without spending more on advertising? How to lose weight without ex exercising? Uh, all these things, how to X without Y. It's the most important headline 
that you will ever come across. So if you never use another one, you'll be okay. Okay, you make, well, you could make millions just off that one headline. I know I certainly have using that one headline, but there are so many more. Uh, I won't go through them all, but the truth about internet marketing, the truth about weight loss, what to do if, when it makes sense to why, um, an open letter, that's a good one uh, for grabbing people's attention. So you say an open letter to real estate agents. That's a really nice headline. Um, the fatal flaw with, um, yeah, the fatal flaw with long sales letters, for example, um, exposed man on a mission. There's lots, but if you only learn one angle, go with how to X without Y. It's a brilliant angle. Um, the main thing, so you can generate in the end, not today, not tomorrow, but maybe soon, uh, millions of these fellas is to have a product that's good to list the benefits you know why why am i getting this to tell your the people who are reading this sales letter or watching this video what the what pain they avoid if you get these three factors into play you're going to sell okay does your copy need to be perfect no have i sold millions or tens of millions um with you know just okay pro copy yes it's more about testing. The more you test, the more you'll find out what's working and what's not working. You give a headline like this about a thing that people want, so how to lose weight without exercising. I don't care how good your copy is. If you're able to genuinely offer a solution to overweight people that allows them to lose weight without exercising, as long as what you write underneath or what you say underneath that headline flows, you're good. You're absolutely good because what have you got? You've got a good product, okay? And that's that really does come very high on the list. A good product, good partners, a good network, um, people that you know who can help you promote your product, um, much more important than this wonderfully grammatically correct copy. And um, always come back to this question, okay? My best copywriting, the one that's made me the most money, has not been the best, the best written. Copywriters might scoff at it, maybe, I don't know. Um, but one thing I don't think they could say is that it doesn't flow. My copy always flows. It's allowed me to generate millions of dollars for myself, for my business partners, for my clients, because this is what I always come back to. Does it flow? Does my copy go on a journey that you ever wake up from or does it just take you from the first line through hundreds and hundreds or thousands of words to the ultimate destination which is probably a link to buy or a link to a sales page uh, seamlessly that's what you're looking for the biggest mistake that, that that new copywriters make is writing stuff that does not flow okay so use the headline always if you like how to do something without something else and make sure that it flows and then your copywriting will be good and it will be good enough all right okay hope you enjoyed the video if you're on youtube below usually or around the video there should be a link to my facebook group be sure to click that link apply to join the Facebook group. We don't take everybody, but we do take anyone who's genuinely there to learn and to add value. Um, subscribe to the YouTube video. Uh, connect up with me if you'd like to. Uh, I don't accept all friend requests, but feel free to give it a go. And um, follow me on Facebook or anywhere else. I'm, I'm on all social media. So if you look for me, you'll find me, Mike Orton. All right, guys, have a good day and uh, hope that helped. See you now.